ladies and gentlemen, we bring you on to uh, about number 14 on your card. And it's a prime female Muay Thai bout to be competed over five, two minute rounds in a 57 kilogram division. This international bout of Raw Fighting Championships is live on Libra Fight TV. Allow me to introduce your first competitor to the ring. In the blue corner, representing Team Alamos, it is Miel. And now for opponent, fight out the red corner, representing the Nosey Academy, International showdown here at the Royal Fighting Championships. Early Harbour takes in the stage, but Inez Mieja has travelled here from oh, Paris, France. Trading elbows early. 
early doors. Welcome to the UK, girl. Big punch up. Very big punch up. Nice turn. Good boxing and a good turn from me out of there. Nice elbow. Ellie's got a reply. That's a nice knee from Harbour on the back foot Very there. Nice. Straight well through the time. middle. There was only a second to throw that. Really good timing. She's long in her legs compared to this girl. And that's why that push kick's just landed freely, right? Yeah. She takes the centre really well every time the ref breaks. Likes that push kick up. That elbow hurt her. Dangerous to those kicks though, Harbour, isn't she? Very. That's clean on the leg. Straight shin to muzzle, not nice. The bigger part of the bone in your shin's the top as well, just under the knee. And that's exactly where she's hitting there, Harbour. Lovely knee. Spiky knees from those long legs as well. They're not easing into it, are they? They're going no. straight for it. Walk straight out to Girls Run the World. It's a big statement, but she's walking in and these girls are proving it, right? Big week for women, isn't it? It and really is. The big card on one last night? Yes. Yeah, we're not seeing so many on there either. It's not. This is a new generation as well. A new generation of girls fighting yeah. in the UK. We've had the Iman Barlows, we've had the Julie Kitchens, you know, the Christy Brerinans, we've had these really high level girls fighting here. But he sold this, you know. But now this is the new era coming through now. 100%, I agree. And the platform's there for them, as you well know. Definitely. One of one giving them that platform as well. They're not shying away from the women, they're, they're letting them perform on that, on that stage. Yes. Like doing a, doing a card in Lumpini. Not in big numbers though, not in big numbers. Yeah, yeah no, no, I mean, definitely. They, they could never fight in Lumpini before. And they weren't allowed. And even in they the just, smaller stadiums where they were allowed, they were under the bottom row. Exactly. There. Now they're, they're a full card for the women. New full card. In Lumpini. Wow. <laughs> weren't, even, weren't even allowed to touch the ring. Wow. I know that's still a tradition in some gyms. Yeah. For the seven seconds. Seconds out. I think he'll go down as a good opening round for Harbour, but it was good elbows from the uh, French girl as well, wasn't there? Very good round for both of them. Yeah. I think Harbour nicked it though, with the knees and the elbows. I think her, her, her height and distance just gave her a little advantage there, although she's not much taller than that girl at all. Taking the centre again really well. Good hand speed setting up the low kick. Clean body kicks going in on the back foot as well. Scoring amazingly, them knees. We said it earlier, on the K1 concept, it's hard to score on the back foot. Definitely. On the Muay Thai, look at those. Ellie Harper's just gone back three, four, five steps and scored four shots. Big shots, big left kick as well, body kick. Got for the head knock off there as well. She's listening well to her corner team. Too many steps there to push her over. Referee pulls them together. That again, Amazing solid work. on leg. Big, big kick that on the leg from Harbour. She's bruised under the eye though. Good shot. She's hurt here. Those body shots of her. I'm gonna tell you, Freddie, this is the She's best. shaking her head. This is the best I've seen of Harbour, you know. She looks very good. She's been yeah. on a great run recently as well. I think she's training at the Fairtex camp a lot as well, in Pattaya. She's really bruised on that eye though, yeah. Harbour. But she's doing amazing work. It's wound her up, hasn't it? Yeah. She's blocking with her arm. Can tell what sign that is. Exactly that. At the end, she's leaving Lovely. something on. 
She's not checking any of these low kicks, the girl from Paris. She needs to check them soon, because look at the damage on her leg. She's reading up as she goes over there. She's still treading on it lightly, which is okay. But if Harbour thinking she carries on on that leg, she's going to stop her walking forward, you know? There's no defence at all, is there? No, none. Brings a good record to um, the Raw Fighting Championship stage today. She really does. She's got 40 wins and three losses, this girl. That's a great record. Got to be honest, the French, for That's me, very good. 10 years ago were dominating my tie for, for international, for Farang. You know? 100%. Outside of Thailand, it was the French all over. In the stadium for the... Yeah, most of them were made up of Moroccans and Algerians yeah. fighting through France, you know. Amazing fighters really doing it at the highest level. England's come up really high now, though. Definitely. We're, we're pushing the boundaries. You and your brother, my friend. <laughs> Represented. Yes. Liam as well. Liam, all of them. George. There's so loads many. Loads. Yeah, Mazzucas just fought as well, didn't he? George Jarvis as well. Wow, George Love Jarvis, that. incredible. Wow, look at the kicks from Harbour. And look at the balance as she just holds her there. That is a real good bit of skill there. The strength in the standing leg to just hold her. The composure as well. Honestly, this is the, the best I've seen Harbour so far. She's looking levels above her opponent right now. Yeah, I'll be honest. Faints are lovely. Just a few inches taller, but every inch she's making count, isn't she? Yeah. For the distance she's keeping her at. Not wasting silly knees like we've seen. Oh, big score. Big dominance. Not wasting silly knees like we've seen before. Yeah. You know, if I'm going to gun him, be able to slap you, I'm not going to throw it. Bang, out we come. I'll stick the she's point of my knee. Drilling them point knees. Yeah. yeah. Harbour's in the zone, look. She's playing with her a little bit now. Can't lose concentration now. Can't. She's done so well so far. Listen, these French fighters, I tell you, from Alamos's gym, they'll always have a shot in them, I tell you that now. They don't give up easy. Oh, she's fainting and throwing now, Harbour. There's no defence, like I said before, on that low kick. It's there to be thrown, look. It is. She's just waiting a little bit too much now. Yeah. She needs to keep working like she was before. Good balance. Harbour's been really good when she catches her leg. She yeah. threw that lovely kick that she caught earlier and just stood there with Really good round again. Very good round. Fantastic stuff, it really Free is. Free up at the moment for me. Yeah. Unofficially. Great corner work from Chris on that eye. I think the judges are switching off now. I think there's going to be a big shot needed from the blue corner. I really Very do. Big shot. They need something really aggressive. Something a little bit different to what's gone before. Yeah. You've got to just tread through the shot. Defo. She's got to go good, for it, last two rounds. Anthony Joshua until last night, <laughs> say, fighting with his heel on the ground and all that. Trod through a big shot last night, put his opponent on the canvas, you know. We need to see him with this girl. Yeah. Yeah, she, last two rounds, she needs big, big two rounds. Yes. I don't know, though, Ellie, Ellie's been phenomenal so far. I don't see, uh, don't see this French girl disrupting her in any way, if I'm honest. But like you said earlier, commentator's curse. The corner looked proud of her so far. Very proud. Looks like a happy Linda. I would be though. Yeah, happy Christian. Happy Steve Harbour sitting on the uh, walkway there. As he should be. That's nice. When someone's got you in a low clinch like, like an almost an underhook, just drop the weight on them. Sort them out. There's nothing they can do. They can't knee, they can't punch, they can't elbow. Just trying to bully her now. Yeah, just trying to rough her up a little bit, but there's no score in there. Yeah, Harbour's in 
enjoying the work now. She's picking her shots. She should, she should enjoy it. She's working amazing. Little half-hearted elbows there, I saw Freddie. Is this where she starts to discover the middle of her arm? <laughs> I she think look, French girl looking at her corner, she just looks so tired. Lovely low kick. John Pop is the perfect height for this fight, isn't it? <laughs> he is. <laughs> He's a great ref. Brilliant ref. Brilliant fighter, brilliant ref. But he's, we're really lucky to have him in the UK as well because we've got that energy from him, you know? Lovely left body kick. Arba's hands are always pinned on her face, you know, look. It's where you need to be. Yes. Oh, she wore a right hook there. Made her think about it for a sec. Got a lovely right black eye. Yeah. Walking forward straight away on top of the ref, trying to push the action. Another strong round for Ellie. Lovely left body kick. Clean shots, effective clean shots is what, Lovely the, what the judges are looking for and that's what they're getting, aren't they? She's having fun now, you yeah. can tell. But like we said about the concentration, Freddie, her hands are pinned to her head, aren't they? Yeah. She did wear a shot in there um, as she attacked her in the corner. Happens sometimes, though. Yeah, of course. No one's got perfect guard, have they? Exactly. Look, she's starting to really spit into that bucket now. It's not easy to travel to another country. It's not. It actually ain't. Like, people listen, don't realise. I know it's 2024 and all that, but I do feel more for the girls still. Yeah. It's just in us, you know what I mean? Yeah, not yeah, no, definitely. I do feel for the girl. Uh, in fact, got a lot of love for Harbour, but I'd love to see the French girl have a really big round here now, because I think she's four rounds down, to be honest. 100%, I agree. So, uh, it'd be nice to see her test Harbour a little bit. Yeah, give us something to go back to France with, to, like, clear with a little bit of pride. Yeah, she's she's come forward the whole fight. You can't you can't question her heart, courage, determination. But Ellie's just been too class today, too well class. Yeah. Harbour straight onto it. Big hands from the French girl. Inez Mia. Hanging in Lovely there to the from very him. last drop. She's driving them knees in now. Yes. Clean kick. It's not even on the body, it's in the back as well, where she's got such a good angle on her. Good tee. Totally legal in Muay Thai as well, if anyone's watching. Nice. Very light on her feet as well, Harbour, isn't she? Yeah. Never that's static. The, that's the nosy style, though. They like, like to move about. They're not yeah. static, like you said. Constantly moving, be a moving target, don't stand there and... They've evolved from the old Minotaur gym with, with Ralph, who you see in Costa Moon, yeah. and Paul Taylor and these guys. And they've almost adopted, they've, they've tweaked up the style a bit and moved it. And that's an evolution of the sport as well that the Nosey Academy yeah. stuck with. It's really working. They, they don't have see to deal with it. Now. They People don't have to deal with it. No. And the thing is, they will learn. Eventually. And they'll evolve with you. Exactly. But then it's your job to evolve to the next level. Exactly. It's the evolution of fire sports. Look, look at her now. She must have heard her saying she's lying on her feet. She's almost dancing <laughs> for us now. <laughs> Twinkle toes. Yes. <laughs> You know, she knows she's been in a fight harbour as well. She's got that mark. Yeah, she's had some big shots. Look, she just caught her again with a kick up into the face. This girl's tough, you know. Mia's tough. She's taken a lot of shots. Keeps turning her back in the clinch. It's no good. There's also a good way of looking after herself in there as well in his Mia. Yeah. She doesn't look like she's going to get knocked out at any point or really hurt, does she? But she never looks like she's going to win this fight. Just no. looks like she's outclassed. She's been very outclassed. Fantastic fight for Ellie Harbour. Great show in for her. And I don't care which judge you've sat at any seat in this arena, I'm going to go full in on the commentary, Freddie, and say <laughs> that's a unanimous We fight. might get one right here. Yeah. <laughs>
Congratulations to the French team. Team Alamos, respect to Damien Alamos as well. To all you guys, you've shown up, shown courage, determination. And there's no shame in this fight at all. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for both of these warriors here! <laughs> After five rounds of pro-am and Muay Thai action, we go to your ringside officials who reach a unanimous decision. Declaring your winner in the right corner, and showed heart, courage, determination. Please give her a big, big round of applause and shout in with respect to these fighters as well. Do not take a step backwards in the very first bell.